Welcome to another episode of Low Tech Garage. Uh, today, we're going to be working on the Infinity G37 IPL. Uh, it's not on the channel too often, but it seems like you guys tend to like the videos that we do on these, uh, as there's not a ton out there on them. Um, and that's probably because they're super reliable. But anyway, let me show you what we're working on today. So a common problem on the G37s, and probably anything with this motor, is over time, the throttle bodies get gunked up. Uh, and it can cause basically like a fluctuating idle and in some extreme cases actually like the car to shut off and then not want to idle, things like that. Um, we have started to see those symptoms uh, just like I described. So today we're going to be getting these throttle bodies off carefully uh, and then basically removing all the carbon buildup from behind and around the throttle plate and the main throttle body on each side. Um, and then reinstalling everything and then doing the little recalibration sequence uh, and then hopefully that gets us back in business. So the removal uh, kind of procedure on this is really not that complicated. Uh, just a few bolts here and there. I'll show you real quick and then I'll cut back once I've got these off and ready to be cleaned. So obviously as you all saw I got the engine cover off already. That's just a few bolts right on the top of the uh, intake manifold and that comes off. Uh, I will be loosening basically these band clamps on the inlets uh, here and then on the, the throttle body right here. Uh, once these are off, we have four bolts that hold each throttle body on. Uh, from what I've read, these can be on quite tight, so just be prepared to uh, have to crank on those a little bit to get them off. Uh, and I did notice there seems to be almost like a little muffler box right here that's also tied to my intake. So I'm going to loosen this too so we can get enough play in the inlet tubes on both sides. Um, and that we can get the throttle body off. We'll say everything I've seen, do not unplug the throttle body, just leave it in. And when you remove it, be very careful uh, because it is a sensitive piece of equipment. And if you uh, disturb the throttle position sensors and stuff, you could end up having to make a trip to a dealership. All right, so this is where we're at. You can see here we got the intake tubes just kind of pulled back. Uh, they come undone pretty easy. Uh, just a good little tug and then you can kind of position them out the way uh, and then you can see i've got the throttle bodies here turned um, kind of like face down uh, but you can really see all this carbon build up um, in the throttle bodies here and this is the culprit for the kind of sticky uh, throttle bodies and the kind of grumpy idle uh, if we move over here i'll show you the same thing um, kind of equally as bad some of the videos i've seen um, and pictures online they look worse than this um, but nonetheless we're gonna get this thing uh, cleaned out uh, so it looks good as new okay so um, this is the first one I cleaned as you can see it looks like brand new in there uh, what I did is I carefully pushed on the throttle blade to kind of cant it upwards and you can see there's a ridge of carbon buildup uh, it's actually technically kind of like in that lip there um, I used the um, intake cleaner, uh, kind of throttle body cleaner, and took some time with one of the blue shop towels here and just wiped all of that out. Uh, using that intake cleaner, it dissolved it really easily uh, and gave me the results here. Um, the cleaner I'm using, just a Walmart brand, but it seems to be working great. Um, and like I said, these things are basically like new. So I'm going to get on with the uh, other throttle body. I guess I can show you too, just so you can see. So we'll do that, but you know, we're equally as clean on the inside here as well, uh, which is a big step forward from where we started. So I'm going to get on with the uh, the other throttle body, and then we'll be back to reassembly time already. All right, this throttle body's on now. You can definitely see how clean it is in there, and it's equally clean on the other side. So pretty pleased with that. Um, I'm going to get these inlet tubes on, get that all buttoned up. We'll get the engine cover back on, and then we'll check back as far as the recalibration procedure and what you have to do to get the throttle bodies to calibrate. All right, so now we're going to hop in the car, and we're going to do a throttle body uh, relearn procedure. I'll show you how to do that, and then we'll get this thing started up and see how it behaves. So to do this procedure, um, you're going to want to turn the ignition on without the engine starting. So if you have a manual transmission, you're going to want to do this by not putting your foot on the clutch. 
And if you're an automatic transmission, you're gonna to want to do this by not putting your foot on the brake and then hitting the start button. Uh, once you hit the start button, you're going to wait about five seconds and then hit it again to shut the ignition off and then wait 10 seconds and then repeat that cycle for a total of three times. So we're gonna do that now and then we'll give it a start. So my foot's not on the brake and I'm gonna hit the ignition and wait five seconds. And now we're going to wait 10 seconds. And now repeat. Now we're going to shut it off again. One last time. All right, that should be the relearn complete. So I'm gonna open up the shop and we'll get this thing started. Okay, so we just started it up. It's on its high idle choke circuit right now. So we're gonna let it run for a minute. And then as it warms up, let the idle come back down. So we'll, we'll report back. All right, so there you have it. It's been running for maybe two minutes and it's still figuring itself out a little bit here, uh, but basically getting a nice idle probably around like 650, which is where it's supposed to be. Uh, and definitely a lot smoother too. Uh, before it would, especially at like stoplights, uh, idle will kind of waver a little bit. It seems to be nice and smooth again. So uh, we're gonna get this thing out the shop and we'll take it for a test drive. All right, so there you have it. Uh, we've got the throttle bodies all cleaned. The car is running much smoother. So really pleased with the outcome of that. Uh, and this is probably a good way to save yourself something like 500 bucks over having the dealership do it. Uh, total time to do the job, maybe an hour. Uh, and if you don't have any of the supplies, maybe 20 bucks. So I hope you found this uh, video useful. If you did, please subscribe. Uh, we do put videos for the Infinity on the channel, uh, but obviously, as you can see, we got this pretty cool build here. We got a build coming on this guy and this thing lurking in the background too. So plenty of content to come. If you like cars, muscle cars, kind of semi-exotic cars, we've got all of it, including uh, you know the early 90s as well. So thanks a lot, and uh, we'll be back with you next time.